What's up, guys? It's your boy Ruben coming to you. New week, new video. You know what it is. Got to talk about the Super Bowl. The LA Rams went ahead and beat the Bengals 23 to 20. Congrats to the Rams. I'm definitely glad to see uh, AD get a ring if, if nobody else. Uh, but if you could tell by the Jags hat, Jacks, uh, you know, it's always going to be F Jalen Ramsey. So there's, there was nothing more that tickled me than watching him get roasted left and right. Now, I have a healthy dislike for Jalen Ramsey, and a lot of it, you know, I think it's so weird how the fan base here defends him and defends kind of former Jags that, that kind of cried their way out of here. Um, I, I Like, I have a special disdain for Jalen Ramsey. Um, less of one for Yannick. I, I kind of... Um, understand Yannick, you know, have a little more respect for Yannick and Gakwe more than Jalen Ramsey because I there's nothing about Jalen Ramsey that I appreciate in terms of the way he exited the Jaguars. For those of you guys that don't remember, um, there was a big blowout on a uh, on a game versus the Houston Texans, and from which Jalen Ramsey claims he was upset that we didn't challenge a call. Um, when he came to the sideline, Doug Marone tried to speak to him and he violently shoved Doug Marone's hands off him. And basically, you know, if, if, if you're a man, it was the kind of shove that if we were in the streets would get hands put on you. So essentially, Doug, who, if, if, if I understand this correctly, is a New York guy, right? And if you, if you know New York guys, they don't play that shit, went over and Again, there was no mics for me that I hear, but I'm pretty sure he went over there and said, yo, you need to watch how you talk to me or some, some, something to the effect of basically you're not going to disrespect me like that, right? And they had a big blow up. So uh, after that, Jaylen, shortly after that, Jalen Ramsey the, you know, requested a trade, pretended to have a back injury, and basically never played for us again. Um, bad mouth in the, org the organization and whatnot. Now, I've discussed, you know, how I felt about that before um, in a previous video. Definitely check out the YouTube channel, like, and subscribe. And um, I'm, I'm in the middle, okay, because on one hand, I understand it's a new generation. You have to treat players a certain way. Um, but for those that don't know, I'm in my late 30s, right? So I'm not so young where it's like, I don't necessarily jive with the new generation. I kind of do think we're getting weaker, softer. Um, I, you know, while it doesn't always mean it's getting worse, we, we do need to be a little more inclusive. Um, I'm, but again, I'm in between, right? I'm old enough to remember the old ways. I, I was a military brat. I understand tough love. I understand discipline. I understand that there's a way to do things, right? Um, you, you'll never catch me disrespect my elders the way Jalen Rams. If nothing else, that was his head coach. But if nothing else, I was an elder. You'd never catch me disrespect an elder in that fashion. Um, it, but that's just my upbringing. These kids these days are different, right? And that's what I've said before when we were talking about bringing Byron Leftwich in. And then I was like, are we sure he's the kind of personality that can handle the attitudes here in Jacksonville? Because the attitudes here are different. And uh, so needless to say, Jalen Ramsey forced his way out. Um, there was reports of Tom Coughlin kind of misusing his power in terms of not quite following to the letter with like practices and demanding people be certain places at certain times. And I guess it led to unfounded fines, um, which, yes, by letter of the law was you know terrible. But all of these things I, I wouldn't necessarily say were um abusive like i don't think anybody was in danger it was all in an effort to it, it's it's just old school you know it, it's old school tough love and if you remember tom coughlin brought the jacksonville jaguars to two AFC championship games and won two super bowls with the with the new york giants and they complained about similar structure there uh and but the but you can't argue with the results and it's something that I respect. So as long as the results are there, I'm always going to respect it. And unfortunately, with the way the generations are lining up, I, I think it's messed up the way that we didn't allow him to finish that season and fired him. Um, but yeah, he definitely had to go. It was time to. It, it is time for a change. And sorry, guys, I didn't mean to get too into the Jaguars talk. 
But fuck Jalen Ramsey. That, it's always going to be that, right? I, I don't like the way he badmouthed the organization, uh, which led to other people forcing their way out and people basically flick, you know, sending the middle finger to Jacksonville. At the end of the day, we are people of Jacksonville. We don't get to leave. We have to stick it out here. And the fact that there was no remorse for us as a fan base in the way we support those guys, um, it's always going to be fucked, Jalen Ramsey. So with that being said, back to the <laughs> back to the Rams. Again, congratulations, Rams. I'm happy to see AD get a ring. Happy to see AD get a ring. But I will say this, right? While I did pick the Rams to win, I, I, as a as a football fan, there was really no reason, no tangible reason for the Rams to have lost this game. With that being said, they should have lost this game. Uh, I, the Rams are exactly who I thought they were in terms of I, I've always said I like Matt Stafford in terms of like he's a good guy, uh, like he's got impressive arm talent, um, one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league. But I also feel like he's a choker. He tried to choke the San Fran game away and almost choked this one away. And I think the only thing that saved him were a couple of bad penalty calls in the end and uh, and and. And Cooper Cup, you know, now you could say, well, you had to get the ball. Cooper Cup wasn't open on like three of those passes. He just made the play for the quarterback. It came down to a scenario where it's like, you know what? If I'm going to live and die, I'm going to throw it to the best guy, uh, to my best guy. We're going to go out swinging. And Cooper Cup won every battle to the point that Eli Apple was getting roasted on Twitter. You know, so definitely check it out. But people were giving it to Eli Apple. Um, but if not for a bad penalty, I mean, he even, Matt Stafford even overthrew a wide open Van Jefferson, uh, in the end zone. And it, it, there, I just feel like the Rams are exactly where I thought, who I thought they were. Um, even, even Sean McVay is, I think is a bit of a choker as well. I think he's a brilliant offensive mind, but if you watch that game, you didn't get kind of tight. Just looking at Sean McVay, like he looked like he couldn't breathe the entire time. That play call where they ran the the Philly special, where it was a it was a fake reverse pitch to Cooper Cup, and he was supposed to hit Matt Stafford in the flat on a fourth down, like or or was it third down? I don't know. But either way, they didn't get the first. He overthrew him. I thought that was a terrible play call, especially for a scenario where you're not even going to get the touchdown. Like that's definitely something you want to say for a bigger moment. Um, and then it didn't even work. It was a terrible play. Uh, there were so many times the Bengals could have completely taken over this game. However, the tangibles kicked in. Bengals had one of the worst offensive lines in the league this year, and it really showed. Aaron Donald went superhuman. Uh, my boy Shane hit me up and said, hey, if Joe Burrow has the ball with like less than two minutes to go and, and a couple timeouts, you know, and, and, and they're down three, what do you got? And I said, at worst, we're going to overtime. If not, Joe Burrow's winning. The, if not, the Bengals are winning the Super Bowl. I thought we had that opportunity. I did say the only thing stopping Joe Burrow would be would be uh, Aaron Donald living on top of Joe Burrow. And that's essentially what happened. Um, the coaching staff, Zach Taylor for, you know, the Bengals, did Joe Burrow no favors, though, because on they, they basically wasted three downs. On one down, they just they, they tried a, a deep pass that went nowhere uh, on, on uh, second and one. Third and one, they ran some IGP Ryan, which I can't for the life of me in that scenario understand why you don't have your best running back in, but somebody just runs a load. And here's one thing I will say about this play. Try to run the ball. Aaron Donald stopped him. He did, in fact, not get the first down. But I also thought they got a very bad spot because I thought Samaji P. Ryan got right up to the line. I thought it should have been inches, if not a very short yard. But it looked like they gave them the ball where Aaron Donald kind of pulled them back at. And uh, so I thought they got a very favorable spot. And then on fourth down, on fourth and one, the bane of my existence all season long, watching the Jaguars, watching the Cowboys. I, I don't know why coaches love to do this, okay? Fourth and one, they go in four wide shotgun, and they try to pass the ball. Now, you have the worst 
offensive line in the league, arguably, right? You're going to, with the game on the line, you're going to literally play to the very strength the Rams have. The one thing the Rams are not great at is stopping the run. Granted, they stopped the run on the last down, but you either sneak that, and I and that was a very long yard, so I'm not sure sneaking it would, would have been it, or line up in a power formation and run the ball. Um, I've seen them run reverses to Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase could have got that yard. You know, so, I mean, sweeps and stuff like that. And I'm not a fan of that. I'm, you know, in that situation, you line up and run it down their throat and let the, you know, chips fall where they may. Uh, interesting Super Bowl. I thought that play call robbed us of, I, I, I believe wholeheartedly that the Bengals kicker, who has been perfect throughout the playoffs, would have made that field goal. And at worst, we go to overtime and we have a, a great ending either way. If the Rams win it or Joe Burrow comes back and wins it. I, I don't think the Rams were, were going to have enough in them personally to win that overtime. I think the Bengals would have won in overtime just judging by the way the game was shaking out and, and the way I felt the nerves. All the pressure would have been on the Rams. So I And, and I just don't think they would have answered the call. Now, again, congratulations to the Rams. I still think they are who I think they are in terms of uh, I've been calling for an implosion for a minute. Uh, when I did call it, it actually happened. They, they missed the playoffs and uh, lost a bunch of free agents. Uh, they ended up cutting Gurley. They ended up having to trade Cook. They did implode. But I've been stating that it's going to happen again. Uh, fortunately, they lucked into a, a Super Bowl. And while, again, congratulations, they do deserve to be the champions being that they won the Super Bowl. But it was one of the easiest paths to the Super Bowl that I can remember. They played the Cardinals in round one. Anybody actually believe the Cardinals were a legit like playoff Super Bowl contender? No. Nobody thought the Cardinals were going to go anywhere. They got Tom Brady with basically nobody. It was it was uh Chris Godwin out, A B lost his damn mind, they lost their right tackle. Um they, they had injuries all over the place. Then they got a team that they play all the time which was the 49ers. The 49ers lucked into a win against the Green Bay Packers. I don't believe the Rams could have went into Lambeau and beat uh, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, in my opinion. And then, as if that wasn't good enough, the Bengals, as much as I love them, we all kind of know they shouldn't have been in the Super Bowl. We know that the best team, hell, I don't. I honestly don't think the two best teams made the Super Bowl. But we know for a fact that the best team in the AFC did not make the Super Bowl. That that designation should have been to the Chiefs or the or the Bills, and uh, I'm not sure the Rams would have beat either team. So I, I you know, it, it was a great playoffs in terms of entry, but ultimately in the end, I I don't think the two best teams made it, and I don't think the best team necessarily won. But you can only play the teams that are in front of you, and. Uh, as a result of that, the Rams are Super Bowl champions. But I do expect them to fall off. I do expect those those contract situations to kind of bite them in the butt. And I do think that uh, that implosion is coming. That bill's coming due, and I've been calling it for some time. Trading all those draft picks for all these high price uh, players that they got, they can't keep them all paid. Uh, Andrew Whitworth might retire, and their old line already wasn't great. Matt Stafford, another year older. We'll see what happens, guys. Let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the offseason. I'm going to do a few videos on how to fix certain teams. Uh, if you're interested in that, please continue to like and subscribe and support the channel. And uh, I'm going to start diving more into the NBA now. Uh, so follow your boy, all right? Peace.